Hey guys, in this uh, video on uh, Medieval Dynasty, I am going to teach you about the different farming animals that you can get in this game and what they do and everything like that. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to know is farming is a very laggy thing to do for the farm animals. All these farm animals, they create a lot of lag. If you have lag issues like I do, having a whole bunch of farm animals like every different kind everywhere will create a huge amount of lag. And so do orchards, by the way, while we're talking about lag. That's why you don't see any uh, trees around here. I didn't, I didn't make any orchards because they are very laggy. And so are these. Uh, one time I planted like, like 50 orchards. And it took a literally the next season. It, it took like five minutes for me to actually load up the next season because of that. And that was kind of crazy. And I said, okay, I don't really need orchards. I'm not going to build them. They are very cheap and not effective. So let's go over these farm uh, animals right now. So first thing you're going to unlock is the hen house. And all that produces is feathers and eggs at a very low production value. They are cheap to get. And overall, at the start of the game, you're not going to be using eggs for pretty much anything. And they just end up being wasted. So... I don't recommend building the hen house, and that's what it does. And then next we get to the pig's diet. Of course, you want this one as soon as possible because pigs are awesome produce it to, to produce all the manure that you need. And I can show you that right now. Sorry. Stop that. No. There you go. Over to the pig's diet here, and the maximum you can have is five pigs, and they produce a really really a lot of crap here they produce a lot of crap and the pigsty is the best uh, place to put your farmers if you want to level them up so once you have them leveled up nice and high you can move them somewhere else like i did to the fold here or so he's a uh, production level nine and he's working nice and good so we'll go to the uh the next one the next one of course is the uh, ducks the goose so once you get the uh, the goose farm here unlocked, you could build that. All it is is a better version of the hen house. It will produce more feathers and more eggs than the uh, chickens do. So it's basically an upgraded version of something you don't really need. So I don't recommend building a goose house unless that's your thing. You like it. You got an awesome computer. You want lots of ducks, and you want lots of uh, extra feathers you don't really need, and the eggs you might enjoy cooking. I don't know. So. That's that one. Now we go to the fold. This is where it starts to get complicated because the fold is not just for sheep. You can put your uh, uh, your donkey, not your donkey, sorry, your, uh, your uh, what are they called? Jeez, I never even use them. The goats. That's right, the goats. I'm sorry. Yeah, the goats. I never use the goats because they uh, produce milk and I don't use milk myself for anything because that just seems to be a, a lower priority for me. So when you go into the fold here and you go to the production thing, you will see buckets of milk. If I change this right now and they're working on milk, I won't get any milk because I don't have any goats in my fold. But I could put goats in here and start producing milk. But of course for the milk you need buckets. Buckets weigh a lot and they take time for you to make. And I thought it was not really worth the value of the milk and making cheese and all that kind of stuff. It is a it is a viable path if you want to take it and you want milk and start the milk. But goats are not the best at producing the milk. So you wouldn't want to be mass producing goats to get milk. It's just an earlier way to actually start producing milk if you're interested in producing milk. The next thing on the list is, is of course the cows. And they basically produce just milk themselves. So you can build this and have up to eight cows as it says there. And of course, the cows just produced milk and I didn't find much value in doing that myself. It's all, all of course, relative to what you want on your farm. It's your uh, farm, do what you like. Now the best one that you're gonna wanna get right away is the stable. So once you get the stable, the stable is also one that has two animals too. It can have a donkey or a horse. And of course, uh, I did a video on donkey versus horse if you wanna watch that. But the short note is the uh, horse is much faster and only has it has 10 less carry weight than the donkey as the main main effects. So horse is much better. You can only have four in a stable and you're going to want to breed them and make many stables right away. And that is a note for farming. You only really need one pigsty too. That's a, as you can see, 460 manure in a day is way more than enough than you need. The next one you're going to unlock is, of course, the beehive here. And it, it produces honey. And you use that to make mead for your uh, your tavern. 
and produce beer and stuff like that. But you will not get the tavern until like, you know, very, the very end of the production. You need 10k in technology to unlock it. So it's not something you're going to get right away. You're going to have that unlocked and it's not going to be doing anything for you. Except for, you know, having honey. And honey is very bad production. Even with a good farmer, you're not going to get very much honey compared to what you want to produce in a tavern when you want to produce beer and stuff like that. If you want to use that for making high-end uh, drinks at the very end of the game so far. So, uh, the honey also diff produces differently per season, which is another weird thing about that honey farm. So, for the beehive here, in the springtime you're at like 75% production value, in the summertime you're at 100%, and in the fall you're at 75% again, in the winter you're at 50% of your production. So you're going to have to, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I can't be 100% sure on that. That's what I noticed on the thing, if it is like 75% or 50% exactly. All I know is that the production changes seasonally and it's not very good. So you, uh, I, you try and manage it in your management system and you put it on the, uh, you're in the summertime, say I'm producing like 100 uh, honey uh, every day. So let's go over to my management and my tavern and uh, make, uh, and use it up. So I used up 100 a day. And then all of a sudden you have no, no honey in the fall. And it's like, what's going on? Then you go to the wintertime and you're getting half what you're making in the, in the summertime. And it kind of sucks that way. So you have to be aware of that and manage and do extra management on honey if you're going to do that at the end of the game. It is, of course, relative to what you want to do. And that is explaining all the different things that you can build for animal, for your animals. That are all the animals in the game and that's what they do. And that's what I recommend. So I hope you learned how these animals work and all the leg they can produce. And of course, uh, you can, you know, shear your own sheep. You just need your scissors and you can check the readiness and stuff like that. And that's a uh, different information that you should know. Anyways, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching.